Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Janet Branson, and this week we are discussing ways to care for ourselves. When it concerns our faith, we think often of spiritual health. But this verse from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23 challenges us to think more broadly. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Body. On Tuesday, we talked about sleep and yesterday exercise. Now, please, please do not give up on me now. Today, we talk about diet, not dieting. Instead, a simple discussion of the food and beverages we consume. I feel overwhelmed thinking about the latest dieting trend and superfood. Where do you start when you decide to eat healthier? And how can you eat healthier without hating everything you eat? <laughs> oh, I am going to utilize the age-old acronym KISS. Keep it simple, sunshine, and provide two non-intimidating healthy eating tips. First, sneak more fruits and vegetables into your diet. The recommendation is five servings a day. Try having a small serving at every meal especially breakfast. Starting right away in the morning boosts your confidence and sets you up for success. Maybe only eating one, you're only eating one serving right now. Do you think you could eat two? I bet you could. Next, tame the sugar monster. I began researching this topic right before Halloween. My entire household, myself included, have completely lost control of our sugar monsters. It's not pretty, folks. As I write this, it's not even Thanksgiving or Christmas yet, and the stretchy pants are making an appearance. Sugar is added to so many of the foods and beverages we consume, and not just the ones you'd expect, like desserts and soda. Sugar is added to bread, bacon, canned soups, pasta sauces, and condiments like ketchup, barbecue, and peanut butter. It's everywhere. According to guidelines from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Americans two years and older should limit added sugar intake to less than 200 calories or 50 grams a day. 50 grams is roughly 12 teaspoons. The American Heart Association is even stricter. They recommend no more than 100 calories per day or 25 grams of added sugar for women, and 150 calories, or 36 grams for most men. Whew, lots of numbers. For reference, per the Starbucks website, a grande pumpkin spice latte contains 50 grams of sugar. That's twice as much as the American Heart Association recommends for the entire day. Okay, why should we limit added sugar? Here we go. With the help of Dr. Penny Chris Etherton, Professor of Nutritional Sciences at Penn State University, I'm going to explain why too much added sugar is dangerous. Eating sugar sets off a chain reaction in the body. It gets digested, increasing your blood glucose levels. In response, your pancreas pumps out insulin. Insulin lowers the glucose in your blood. If you're way over consuming sugary foods and drinks, your pancreas has to work overtime. It pumps, 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 pumps out insulin. <sighs> your pancreas gets tired and eventually can't make enough insulin to control the glucose in your blood. It also can happen that your body becomes resistant to insulin like it doesn't work anymore. The result, type 2 diabetes. Additionally, foods and beverages with high added sugars are often high in calories. Too many calories and we see weight gain and increased rates of obesity. Obesity is linked to diabetes and heart disease. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. If you are still with me, and I hope you are, let's think positively. Just like the fruits and vegetables challenge, we can start small. We can be sugar detectives, watching food labels and being curious about the hidden sugars. And because sugary beverages are the biggest 
culprit, I challenge us to cut back, not eliminate, baby steps. In summary, increase fruits and vegetables, decrease added sugars. We can totally do this together. I'd love to hear from all of you. Keep me posted on your health journey. I'll close in prayer. Dear God, the world is confusing and counterintuitive. We are seduced by delicious tasting foods and drinks. They bring us joy and comfort, yet are not always healthy. Help us make small changes. Help us care for your masterpiece. Amen.